happy Monday to everybody. Uh, this is always such a great way to get the week started. I hope you guys had a great holiday weekend um, here in the United States celebrating Thanksgiving, obviously last Thursday, which always bleeds into the weekend. Hey, listen, everybody take a look at the calendar. We've got four days left. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The difference is, what are you going to do with those four days? All right, that is a, that's going to be a difference maker between you being the haves and the have-nots. And you heard me talk about that last week. We all have four days left to make a difference. And what we do in the next four days is going to set you up for what's going to happen in December. And I know, I know we've got a ton of people that are really, really stretching to get to the next rank, uh, to get to a record volume that they, that, that they want to set for themselves. And guys, it's all about just doing the work. We all know exactly what we need to do. Whether, you know, it, whether you call somebody up and you send them a video or the Amazon driver shows up at your door and you do the demo on them right now. Right, right, Andrew? And Andrew's on the call with me here today, as a matter of fact, because he's a, he's a fighter, man. He's a, he, he loves the gig economy. He's young. He's hungry. And um, I gave him the demo right there on the spot. And he's pretty excited about what we are all doing. So listen, guys, it's, um, it's up to you. It's up to you in the next four days to make this thing happen, to set yourself up to, uh, to end the year really, really strong. Um, I'm going to see a bunch of you on the beaches of Cabo San Lucas this week, which is going to be phenomenal. But I'm going to have a challenge for the 50 or so people that are going to be on, the, on that trip with us. And uh, that challenge is, is that we're not going to stop building our businesses. We, the, the, the goal for every single person who's going to Cabo this week is to put a new person in the business this week. We're not going to use the holidays. We're not going to use the fact that we're going to Cabo as an excuse to not build our business. Guys, we don't go out and work this business. We go out and live this business. And the challenge, if, if we're going to do it in Cabo, you guys, everybody who's not going to be in Cabo, um, you have no excuse. You have no excuse whatsoever. Um, we're all going to put somebody in the business this week. Now, what I want to chat with you about today is some of the excuses that we run across in, in sharing the opportunity with people. And probably the most common objective that we get from people is, I don't have time. I don't have time. Now, that's pretty common. And it really, what it means is, when somebody says, I don't have time, really what they're trying to tell you is, I don't understand. I, I, I don't get it. Because if they truly, truly understood what was involved in building a business like this and the rewards that were generated from building a business like this, they wouldn't say, I don't have time. They would say, okay, hold on. I don't quite understand what you're telling me. Tell me more. And so when somebody says they don't have time, really what they're saying is, I, I don't get it. So when somebody does tell you, man, this is, oh, it really sounds great, but I don't have time. Don't believe that for a second. Don't believe it for a second. And here's another reason why. There was a recent study that uh, I was reading about, and this was, a, this was about a month ago I was reading this, and the study focused on television time. Okay, not just, not just screen time, but television time. And the study showed that the average American watches about 27 hours of television a week. Now do the math on that. That's almost four hours a day. Four hours a day just watching television. So let me break this down for you. People that are under 24 years old, they average about 22 hours a week just watching television. Now, that sounds a little bit better than the, than the national average, right? Because the national average is 27. People under 24 are only watching 22. But that doesn't include those people on their devices. YouTube, playing games, texting, all the social media platforms, and literally their brains are being sucked into that device. 
And listen, I'm not just banging on the under 24-year-old group because I know there are people on this call who spend an awful lot of time just staring at their phones. And one of the things that shocked me is that the older a person gets, the more television that they watch, okay? They don't become wiser and decide to spend time doing something else. They become more absorbed into the machine. And the study showed that if you are over 65 years of age you are watching over 50 hours of television a week. Let that sink in. You guys, that is about seven and a half hours a day just watching television, okay? And that doesn't include any screen time. And you're like, yeah, but Steve, 65-year-olds don't look at screen. Yeah, they do. My dad is 88 and he texts, he sends me text messages all day long. So the older we get, instead of becoming more engaged in the world, we become less engaged in the world and in business and in contributing to others. So just imagine, okay, just play the what if game here for just a second. But imagine if people took those 27 hours and they devoted it to building their future instead of being plugged into a system, right? You know, after all, you know, how much can we actually contribute to the world if we're spending 27 to 50 hours a week just watching television? So when somebody tells you, I don't have time, okay, this is what I say to them, okay? And, and this, you guys can use this if you want to. But the second that somebody tells me, man, Steve, this sounds great, but I, I just don't have time. The first thing out of my mouth is, do you like not having enough time? Do you like not having enough time? Because what I'm showing you here right now is an opportunity to give you more time in your life, to be able to give you the opportunity to be the boss, to call your own shots, to make as much money as you want to make, to promote when you want to promote. Do you like not having enough time? Because they've already told me, oh, I've got my job and I've got this and I've got the kids. I'm like, yeah, we all do. Boo hoo to you. I don't say those words, but I'm thinking to myself, boo-hoo to you. It's like, what makes you so special that you think you don't have time like I don't have time? We all don't. We, we all have 24 hours in a day, okay? Now, I'm, I'm not physically saying all of that to my prospect, but that's what my body language is. My body language is screaming that at them. When they say, oh, I don't have time, I say, do you like not having enough time? Yeah, I, I thought the same way. I thought the same way. And because I got involved in this profession 33 years ago, that has given me more time than I've ever dreamt of because I get to call the shots. I get to do what I want to do. So when people tell you that they don't have time, don't call them a liar, but don't believe their story. Show them that there's a better way than just plugging into a TV series. Um, and, and, and just, I want you guys to think about that for a second. Is there something that you absolutely positively have to watch every week. Is there, is, there a, is there a series that you have to watch every week? And I'm thinking about it going, I don't know. Like I watch NFL football, you know, when, the, when my Packers are playing, you know, I, I, I kind of watch that, but they don't play every day. I'm not watching four hours of NFL football every single day. It's like, it, I'm, not, I'm not saying don't watch TV, but I'm saying don't tell me you don't have enough time when you're spending, the average person is spending almost four hours a day just watching television. Guys, there's a better way than just becoming a super consumer and being told what to do and how to feel and, and how to do it. Because that's what television does to us. It tells us what we should buy, when we should buy it, what we should do. It tells us how it's going to make us feel. And we just sit there and we're mesmerized by it. And then we grab our phones and then we purchase something or we go do something. Guys, there's a better way than just sitting on the couch. So there's, a, there's a really big world out there. So my point is, let's get out there and contribute to it. And when somebody tells you that they don't have enough time, what they're really saying to you is, I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. And if I really, really did understand it, I probably will do it with you. So guys, it's, it's kind of up to us to make sure people really understand the value of our opportunity. Because remember, 
we're trying to add value to everybody's life. And so when you have a normal conversation with somebody and you find out what's going on in their life, what you're doing is you're providing a solution for them. And so when you have a normal conversation with somebody, I call it the discovery phase, and it's just having a conversation with somebody and you discover that they can't sleep at night or they're in a lot of pain or they don't make enough money and they, they, haven't, um, they haven't been on a vacation in years and they're nervous about how they're going to pay for their kids' you know, college education. And then you turn around and you provide the solution to them with this opportunity that we have. And then they tell you, I don't have time. Oh, that sounds great, but I don't have time. I said, really? You don't have time to find out a way that you can sleep better at night or I can help you with your pain or I can help you make more money or I can help you I can show you how to take great vacations throughout the year or I can show you how to pay for your kids college education before they even get into high school you don't have time for that is that is is that seriously what you're telling me right now and then you just wait and really what they're saying is no I want all of those things I just don't know how I can possibly do it and then you sit down with them again and say, listen, this is what we're going to do. You know, we've got people making more in a month than a lot of people make in a year. And we just have to explain to them how that's possibly true. So when somebody tells you guys, I don't have time, they really, really do. All right, you guys, four days left. Four days left. What are you going to do with those four days? What are you going to do with those four days? That's a question you have to answer for yourself. It is Mach 4 with our hair on fire. Those of you that are reaching for new levels, how are you going to get there? What's it going to take? Those of you that are going on vacation, in quotes, this, this week, yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun, you guys, but we still go out there and build our businesses. We're still going to go do what we do. There's going to be people on that beach who they've never heard of the Super Patch Company. And we're going to make sure that they understand what, what, this, what this program is all about. Four days. No excuses, you guys. I don't care what's going on in your life. No excuses. This is your future that you're building. Mm -hmm.